G'day guys, welcome back to another Pink Panda video, and today the 2K24 info has dropped. Uh, it's a moment we've all, a lot of us have been waiting for, the next iteration of the NBA 2K franchise. Today they've given us the cover athletes, they've given us the different versions of the game, and a couple little bits and pieces about what to expect within the game. So with that said, let's go and take a look. Alright, first up, let's have a look at the different editions of the game that they've got installed for us, starting with the Kobe Bryant edition, which is the basic base level version of the game that you can pick up. Um, so in terms of price, after doing the conversion from USD to AUD, it looks like it comes in at about $104.99 AUD. So if you're buying it on an online platform, so the PS Store or on the Microsoft Store, I dare say you're going to be looking at about $100. Uh, but hopefully JB and EB come through with the goods, uh, doing it for 79 to 89 Typically, they usually float around somewhere between that mark. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But for, for the Kobe Bryant edition, in terms of pre-order bonus, you get 5K VC. Uh, for my team content, you get 5,000 my team points, 10 promo packs, which come out one per week for you, and a 95 rated Kobe Bryant free agent card. And for your My Career content, you get five times six My Career skill boost types and three times three Gatorade boost types as well. So just a little bit to get you kick started there on the, on the base level of the game. Next up, the second version that we're looking at here is the Black Mamba edition uh, with a really cool looking cover there with Kobe. Um, so this one in terms of price after doing the US dollar conversion comes in at around $149.99. So I'm not sure if the gaming stores will do anything cheaper on that front or if it will just be purely digital only, I'm not too sure. But in terms of the inclusions you get for the pre-order bonus for the Black Member Edition, you get the 5k VC, uh, the 5,000 My Team points, 10 times the promo packs, the 95 rated free agents, um, the My Career content, so your six My Career boost types, uh, three times the three Gatorade boost types, but then there's also the additional Black Member content, uh, which is a bonus. So with that, you get an extra, an extra 100,000 VC. For My Team content, you get 15,000 My Team points. Um, you get a starting five draft box with three option packs. So you can either pick from one Amethyst player one Ruby player or three Sapphire players. So just a nice little way to kickstart your My Team. A 10 box My Team promo packs, cover star Sapphire card, the Kobe Bryant 24 error, one diamond shoe, which is handy, one Ruby coach, uh, and a two hour double XP coin. You also get the My Career content and you get 10 times six types of the My Career skill boost, 10 times three types of Gatorade boost, two hour double XP coin, Four times my career t-shirts, including the Kobe cover star t-shirt the co in, in both the cover arts, WNBA cover t-shirt up, and the Kobe cover star t-shirt achievement design. Uh, plus you get the backpack, electric skateboard, and the arm sleeve. So quite a few more additions to that version, hence the uh, the high price point. Uh, I think a lot of people will probably land on this one just for the, the extra VC alone, I guess, to get a bit of a, a head start. Uh, with your player across the different parts of the game. And the third and final version that we will look at that's on offer is the 25th Anniversary Edition, uh, which has got a, a cool little ring on the cover for this version of the game. Now, in terms of price point, it is on the high end, looking at about $225 Australian approx, and I believe this one is digital only, so I don't think there's going to be any physical variation of this. Uh, and the main difference here with this one is it, it does also come with the full season 12-month NBA League Pass subscription, which I believe they did last year as well. But um, the other addition as well you can see down the bottom here is the Black Member My Player Capsule. So the black arm sleeve, purple oversized t-shirt, yellow t-shirt, and the Kobe Player Panel. But everything else um, is as per what you get in the Black Member edition. So... I suppose the value comes into the NBA League Pass. So if you are a big watcher of NBA, that could be an option because the League Pass is usually a couple hundred on, it, on its own. So you're almost getting the game for free, essentially, if you look at it that way. Um, so yeah, there's, other than that, though, there's not much else to it other than that, that League Pass and the few extra bits and pieces at the end there. 
Now, in terms of release date for the game, all signs are pointing towards the 8th of September as the release date. So I'm not sure if that's fully confirmed yet or not, but it seems to be the date that's the, the most published date going around. So we'll run with that for the time being. And in terms of a new game mode that they're introducing, they're putting in a thing called Mamba Moments. So we get to recreate some of Kobe's great moments throughout his illustrious career, which is a great little sign of respect to Kobe uh, and what he did for the game. So it sounds like that it's a, a gradual progression through the highlights of his NBA journey as well. So I think you, you'll start with him as a younger Kobe working all the way through up, um, getting to use his baseline jumper, his post moves, and his just ruthlessness uh, in wanting to win games. So it'll be really interesting to see how they uh, go through that. And the other new bit of info that they've released is there's a thing called Pro Play, which is coming into the game, which uses actual footage from the NBA games to improve gameplay with moves from the NBA season. Uh, so 2K say that Pro Play translates your favorite player's signature crossovers and spin moves, spin moves and jump shots into game animations to create the most authentic 2K game yet. So I'm interested to see how that plays out as well using actual footage from uh, from a current in-game season. And finally, the biggest point to come from the the info that got released today is crossplay is now in for next gen console only. So PlayStation Microsoft users will finally be able to play crossplay. Uh, in the park, which is going to be awesome. It's been something that's been cried out for for a long time. Doesn't include PC users at this stage, though. So just the next gen consoles will be cross play. So that's it for today. I think no doubt there'll be a lot more uh, news coming out on 2K24 now that this main bit of info is out. So I'm sure we'll see more news about the other relative modes coming in the in the next few months. And we'll keep a close eye on those and bring them to you as they come through. So make sure you like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.